How can we provide the most short-term and long-term value for our patients? Great question for Dr. Jeffrey Glad on the Functional Forum. But now the new truths are, this is a huge opportunity for us. As providers who want to see patients, who want patients to come into our office and see not just the long-term worth, but the short-term worth. So go learn how much things cost. Go find out the opportunities that you can save patients money. And so I've done this, and I continue to do this and find cost savings. So the MRI at the hospital is two to three grand. But there's a private MRI place in Fort Wayne, Indiana, our town, that'll do it for four or $500. Cash. Seems simple. Procedures. Nobody can tell you in our town how much a colonoscopy is going to cost you or how much an EGD is going to cost you. But most of the patients who go have them done who have high deductibles, five, six thousand dollars $6,000. I haven't found any place local, but I send somebody up here in the Detroit area uh, to a clinic up here. It's $1,500 cash. Biopsy, sedation, pathology, $1,500. You've saved them thirty-five dollars to $4,500 right off the bat. Specialists. I took my son to an orthopedic surgeon who was out of network. We called the office before the appointment. Do you have a cash rate? We sure do. If you pay $250 down, everything is 30% discounted. If the charge is less than $250, we give you back the difference. Got to have these conversations for yourself, but also for your patients. Labs is the big one that we're going to talk about here in a minute, specific to cardiology. Serve as that financial advisor. Learn how much things cost in your community and help patients save big money. Here is, I show this to patients day after day after day. These are hospital charges for a standard lab pa panel that we order. And I've put arrows on the ones that are specific to a cardiology workup. So a fasting lipid profile, an ultra-sensitive C-reactive protein, a homocysteine level. Uh, I think I threw a CBC in there. Um, so this is, this is a conventional workup. This is going to end up being $1,400, $141481. That's the hospital rate for those labs. Yeah, some insurances are going to discount that. Hers didn't, you know, hers did some, but her out of pocket was still very significant. How, mu how about the consult to tell you everything looks good? Or the phone call from the MA that says it's all fine? How does that help anybody? That costs four to $800 for that consult because it's a specialist appointment. So your total visit cost in the conventional realm for that patient is $1,800. Now, if they come to my office and we have negotiated cash labs, that total cost of blood work that was $141481, the exact data is $76.10. We charge a $50 administrative fee because my staff has to process that order. This patient's total lab cost is now $126.10. That's a savings. I took out the consult part. Just in labs of $1,288.71. If you apply that money to the cost of my consults, that's over four hours spent with me. You don't need or want four hours spent with me, <laughs> right? So we'll review this for an hour, and you get to go home with almost $1,000. Hello and welcome. I'm James Maskell, founder of The Evolution of Medicine, and today we're going to be talking about one of the most important topics. How do we harness the power of community in modern medicine? And we're going to talk about a range of strategies for you clinically, practically, and with your peer community. So how are we going to engage the power of community into our medical practice? The first thing that we need is a powerful clinical model. And the most powerful clinical model that engages the power of community is the functional medicine group visit. This is being used by all types of physicians and practitioners across the country. There's a one provider model, there's a two provider model. You could do it on insurance and you could also do it for cash. But the most important thing is that you group, bring together a group of people who have the same or similar types of dysfunction and introduce them to each other, especially people who are ready to change and you get the value of support and accountability of a group of peers. The second way to really engage the community into your practice and your practice into the community is to do weekly events. 
Now, there are all kinds of ways that you could do this, but some of the most popular and some of the most effective. The first is a grocery tour. It's not difficult to take groups of your patients around the grocery. It's a remarkable experience, both for the people who are on the tour and other people who are in the supermarket watching you walk around. It doubles as marketing in a really great way. The second is movie night. There are so many great movies that have the power to really engage people and change people's behavior. So setting up a movie night and there are great technical tools to be able to do that. And then the third way that's really impactful is a walking or running club that could start right at your practice. And we've seen big brands like this, like Lululemon doing it. But how difficult would it be to have a running or a walking club meeting your practice three times a week? There's plenty of science to show that when people get together to walk in community 45 to 90 minutes three times a week, the health results are exponential and the community is very powerful. Now the third and possibly most powerful way that we're gonna engage the power of community in your zip code is to get together with a group of your peers. And that's why we created the Functional Forum. So that on the first Monday of every month, you can get together with a group of local peers in your community, other doctors, other health providers, and understand how you're gonna deliver much better community medicine in your zip code. So these are the three most powerful ways that we see that you can engage community right now. And the benefits for your practice are gonna be better clinical results, more engagement into your practice and more new patients, and a significantly increased number of peers in your community that you can refer to and from. And what we're starting to do is build and organize a team of providers nationwide that can really deliver a new type of healthcare. Now, if you like these ideas, but you find it a little bit overwhelming, I've got a special gift just for you. And that's a session with one of our Evolution of Medicine concierges. They're highly trained in helping to identify the best opportunities and solutions for your individual practice. So to book a time with one of the Evolution of Medicine concierges, please click on the link below. Thanks so much for your time today, and we'll see you next time.